hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so this video i want to share this clip with you guys so basically it's a video of this uh, uh, um, a family on tiktok and in a lot of their videos to be honest in a lot of their videos you see the man is actively playing a role in the home he's you know caring for his family he's caring for his wife there's this particular video that is uh, that i came across and uh, people sharing it all over facebook in which uh, he i think the wife just had a baby and then you could see where he helped walk her into the bathroom and uh, put on her underwears and put on the uh, 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 what's it called now like a pad or something like that I can't remember and I'm gonna put a video anyways so you guys will see it yourselves and all of those kind of caring for his wife walked out to the couch she sat down he put a foot on so he put a foot put a, a, a foot stool yeah put a stool under her feet and then um, gave her food and and it was such a beautiful video to watch and it's all over you know it's, it's trending you know and the video is going around and uh, you know I, there are a lot of funny comments comments like ah that will never be Tanzania <laughs> will never be in Zimbabwe. <laughs> this will never, different women are commenting. <laughs> different women are commenting. But I noticed a lot of those comments are actually comments from African women, you know, saying that, ah, you know, they are put in their country. Like, they are not even saying in their home. <laughs> Sorry, they're not going to say, ah, your husband is not doing it, or no, or they've never seen it. They are saying in their country, they are general. <laughs> they're, general they're generalizing and say, ah, it can never be Tanzania. <laughs> It can never be Tanzania. I got put it anyways, that aside. Okay, let's be honest. We know that there's this is the African man, African mentality, African this. African. So I think that's why these women are generalizing. There's another area of uh, must it be on social media? Must they post it? Why are they filming it? Who is holding the camera? Eh, hey, this one that they are showing. Uh, all oh, this one that are showing it they just want the word uh, da, da, da. i thought about to be honest i as i really took my time and i thought about it and i said uh -uh, it's okay let them post it we need to see more videos like this let me tell you guys it's not today do you know do you know that there are some couples that their own is drama we are seeing is saga is negativity there's so much negativity about marriage nowadays that when there's something positive like that let's be balancing the equation yes there are some horrible marriages out there but there are also some beautiful marriages out there so what is wrong with them posting it nothing is wrong with it so are we going to say now that the ones that have the right to come and post their marriage are those ones that their own broke up and they are coming on social media and doing saga from monday to friday monday from monday to sunday eh, morning afternoon evening ah eh, this one is that what we want to see people we have do you know how many posts or dramas in the recent times of couples that the marriage didn't work out and they come out and tell us the most horrible things about their wives most power, uh, evil thing about their and this one and, and tell us the horrible things about marriage oh the, and is that what do you know how much of that we've seen in recent times what we see everywhere is oh we are divorced we are breaking up that's what has been trending in recent times we are broken up oh how i got divorced how i this how i that so many negativities left right and center so many and then finally we see something that is the opposite and we want to frown at it and say why did they post it please let them post it we need to see more posts like that so that when people see the people that their own relationships failed their own marriage is failed they also see the ones that their own is sweeting them their own see they switch them for body and then they will know that marriage is not only what these other kind of people are showing us there is the sweet side of it as well at the same time other men can watch it and see how a wife would love to be treated when she's had a baby how you do same way you know how the same way you want to be loved by your wife she too wants to be loved and cared for to show how a man is running his family his home in this way showing love to his wife and children and saying you know this our headmasters of these days i am the head i am the head this man showing his own way of heading his household and want to tell them not to post it please let them post it and even post more like i am so personally i'm sick and tired of couples sagas on the internet i'm sick and tired of it there are a lot of women that have been divorced remarried women that have men that have been divorced married, but nobody knows because they don't post it on the internet 
they don't come there that women that have people that have had horrible marriages they walked away from they don't post it all over and come and tell you how evil their ex-husband was or how evil their ex-wife was and all the what you know negative 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 things about marriage and you see when they come and tell you all this evil she's evil he's evil i ran away from an evil uh, another one that is uh, the narcissist another english word that is really toxic yeah yeah that's it toxic marriage i walked over my toxic marriage it is that is what we hear yeah and if we go by that the message at the end of the day ends up becoming the message of don't go dear marriage is horrible marriage is toxic marriage is evil marriage is this marriage is that i love to see this i love people to post this i love what i'm seeing i absolutely love what i'm seeing and it's surprising and disappointing that some people are actually trying to tell them to enter house trying to tell them eh, what are they doing they are doing too much why are they showing it let them do would you rather have the ones that do saga or have this let's be honest the ones that do saga what do you learn from it and what do you even gain from those ones but you see i've come to realize that unfortunately we live in a world that has become so evil that good news so people don't want that good news they pepper some people for body like they hate when they see when things are good like they prefer the drama the saga the falling out and things like that to the point where couples that broke up they did saga that they choose that they, they don't want to do saga anymore the viewers are the ones that actually try to trigger them for more saga because somehow it's like our world seems to enjoy negativity so much it seems that our world prefers when they see destruction, when they see basketballs. It, it, I think it's the entertainment value of negativity is more intoxicating. I think it's intoxicating that some people will dedicate their lives, their time, their energy and everything to help a couple continue to fight each other. Continue to fight each other. Continue to... that. You know what I mean? That even any slightest, if the, if the couple that broke up decide by any chance, any chance even say something nice about their ex, it is the viewers and the bus bus lovers that would say, oh, like, do you even, like, even if the, some couples choose to now be just casual, uh, what's, the, what's, the word, what's the word? If they even, if they even decide to like be casual, what's the English word I'm look, looking for? To be, you know, um matured about it that's not the word i'm trying to look for it is the people that watch them that actually don't want any kind of peace at all because of the entertainment value from the wickedness of a man's heart the bible explains that the, the heart of a man is desperately wicked and i have seen it firsthand how people can play a part. Even look at it. Uh, do you even look at this YouTube or what? A lot of these platforms. The couples that are showing signs of being happily in their marriage. And you know, I think a lot of, they are not, we don't have much couple vloggers or family blog, vloggers as we used to. But those are used to, you know, b b do family vlogs. You will see comments and you know that these comments intentions are to break up the couple. They tell the man. How, you know, you're the one doing all the work. You're the one doing all the editing. You're the one doing it. Your wife is lazy. She's not doing it. And then they tell the woman, you're too beautiful for that man. You, you married low. What's the, I forgot the way they say it. You, you, you settled or you're like, you married someone that is beneath you. Before you know it, they are able from comment section, able to destroy marriages. Let me tell you, it's left for couples to make sure that marriages work. But human beings, words into the ears can have effect over time. If, it, if you're telling the woman all the time, you're too beautiful for your husband. What were you thinking? You could have got a better man. He's beneath you. Look at your beauty. Oh, look at you. You should be a model. You should be this, this, that. It's only a matter of time. The woman may, the woman may begin to feel like, ah, oh, not true. My level passed this man level. Okay? It's, it can't happen. So, when people now see, I'm, Let's be honest, there are a lot of people that leave in amazing comments and say, wow, oh, this is so lovely. I wish I had a man like this. I wish my husband was like this. You know, there was another place they shared it on Facebook that I saw. Somebody said, ah, where did she download this? I was 
<laughs> Where did she download this husband from? Uh, the people like, ah, I mean, does, your, does your husband have a brother? There are a lot of nice comments, but I want to address those negative comments that say they are doing too much. And why are they posting it? Please let them do. I rather have too much, too much of this kind of lovey dovey than have too much of the negative sagas of parents that have lost every shame in the world. When I say shame, if you no longer have shame for yourselves as a couple, at least shame for your children that will grow up and inherit the public disgrace, the public saga, and all the mess going on that the parents have put online. And unfortunately, many people that are helping them to continue to further the saga will never post their own marriage problems. I'm going to end up ranting. You're going to talk to a rant. This video, this video is not supposed to be a rant video. It's supposed to be a positive video to show how another man is heading. Where are all our headmasters? Come and see. Those ones, I am the head, I am the head. Come and see how this man is heading his home with love. With love. Head. So people, those who are thinking that heading is to say, hey, I am the man. Shut up. Sit down. Shut up. Sit down. That's not how you head. Head with love. The Bible say, when they say, just like Christ is the head of the church, I am the head of the house. What did Christ do? He was so humble. He washed, he washed his apostles' feet. He was so humble that he washed his apostles' feet. He was so loving and caring that he died for the church. The bride is the church. How many men today, the headmasters, are willing to die for their wives but you will come and claim you are jesus of your household but you don't want to do like the jesus of the bible that is the the, the, the jesus of the bible have you, have you, you don't want to be like jesus that loved us that loved the church so much that he gave his life you don't want to be that anyways i saw that beautiful video and they, I'm against those that believe that hey, they are doing too much. Why are they showing it? Please let them show it. We've seen enough of the negative ones. Let's see something sweet to look at. It's about time people see something positive about marriage. So that people can stop losing their faith in marriage and believe that they too can have a, a lovely, beautiful marriage where couples choose. Couples choose to do the best for each other, love each other, and they be there for each other. Ah! I saw that video I wanted to share it. Like I said, it's a very beautiful video. It's a positive video. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know your opinions. Do you think they are doing too much by sharing it? Or do you agree with me that we need to see more of the positive ones? Um, as always, I've shared my opinion. And as always, whatever your opinions are, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.